Stitch this with one of your most embarrassing moments where you might have actually learned something. For me, it was back when I was young and on the road, I was living in India with my kid sister and I got involved in a Tibetan protest march. It was a bunch of monks and nuns and lay people walking from Dharmashala down to New Delhi and they were going to walk across the border uh, back into Tibet was their plan, which is crazy. Many of these people have been tortured before and they were willing to walk across the border and be tortured again just to make a political statement. It was bravery I had never before personally witnessed in my life. Uh, it was also my first time just being around monks of any religious order. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, a bunch of cheeky, cheeky people. Um, and some very serious, of course. Um, and every night, me and my buddy Tenzin, we would set up camp farther away from everybody else and their big tents. We would just find a little... Um, hole in the wall spot and set up there and a lot of the monks would come and find us because it was just a spot to chill away from everyone else we'd play chess and just hang out after a day of walking and at that time i had a trick uh because i was very good at catching flies i could hold my hands over them and just swoop them up and then i could throw them at the ground to kill them and i was playing chess with a monk friend also named tenzin um and i didn't think about it and the flies were thick and a fly landed on me, and I swooped up in my hand, and I threw it at the ground. And half killed it. It was stunned and hurt, uh, and just jumping around, kind of. And normally I would step on it at this point. But this time I looked up, and it was half a dozen faces just horrified. They weren't looking at me. They were looking at the fly. You know, To Buddhists, this is another soul. This is a brother or sister in there from another life, and there is no reason to harm it like that. And they picked up the fly, they kept it in their hand, they stroked it, they just like sent love out for this poor fly, and they weren't even disgusted with me. I think they were just completely flabbergasted. Like, you have a friend, and all of a sudden the friend casually commits murder. And you just, how do you even process that? And I was the murderer. And ever since that day, I've treated all life in a much more sacred way than... I used to. I might still kill mosquitoes like the nurse on the march told us to, but I try to treat all living things well now because of that embarrassing lesson.